Thank you, Shelby, for that amazing speech. Graduates, loved ones, distinguished faculty members, and people off the street who just walked in, thank you, and it is an honor to be with you. I'm so grateful to Western Governors University for the privilege of speaking about my journey. What is the foundation of success? When contemplating what to speak about, it's natural to reflect on the good times. It's easy to bask in the warmth of fond memories, and occasionally, it's even tempting to get complacent when we dwell in our successes. Sumner Redstone once wisely said, success is not built on success. It's built on failure. It's built on frustration. Sometimes, it's built on catastrophe. I stand before you not some bastion of success, but as someone who has persevered time and time again through failure, doubt, grief, sadness, and insert other troubling word here. I stand before you as a first-generation college student, earning my very first and second degree. But make no mistake, this is my third attempt at college, and it took a lot of failure before I was ready to do what was necessary to succeed. I graduated from high school with a full scholarship to a different university, an American dream right there. I was so excited, so ready to take on college until I woke up late the first day of school. What are they gonna think of me? Should I even go? Doubt filled my mind, and at the time, my support system was limited. Ultimately, over time, these thoughts got the better of me, and I failed. I didn't just fail, I lost a free education, too. I couldn't think of a better word for that than a true catastrophe. I was ashamed, embarrassed, and lost. I already had a job in the field I was interested in, so I thought, maybe school just isn't for me. Maybe I can go through life without a college degree. And I was right. I could get by, but it was frustrating. While I secured jobs, I had to win over every potential employer in the interview. Talk about imposter syndrome going into an interview. Then, when COVID-19 hit, and I promise that will be the only time I mention it, my girlfriend Mary convinced me to give college another try. Heck, she even convinced our dog to go back to school. I was anxious, grappling with loan applications and the daunting task of choosing the right school, and the college I initially chose was not WGU. Remember, I said it took me three times to get it right. It was online, though, and it introduced me to the idea of distance learning. But progress was sluggish at that other school. I was hesitant to take out private loans, but I knew I could do more with my time. Then, fate intervened, and I stumbled upon a TikTok about WGU. Paying per term was a revelation to me, and the freedom to take as many classes as I could handle was a game changer. Although I was a sophomore at my previous school, only four of my classes transferred to WGU. But despite the risk of failing yet again, I took the leap. On July 1st, 2023, I started my bachelor's degree in cybersecurity and information assurance at WGU. I had to complete 30 classes, and when I started, my degree plan estimated it would be about seven months. Ugh. I stand before you today having completed my cybersecurity bachelor's on December 4th, 2023, in only five months and four days. Not only that, but I was also able to start and complete my master's in cybersecurity between then and now. I overcame failure, no, catastrophe, to be able to pull myself back together and earn these two degrees. The journey was not easy, but with the weight of my past failures behind me, I persevered, I overcame, I succeeded, I insert other positive word here. I stand before you a former failure, and I'm very proud of it. As a testament to the power of ambition and perseverance, I've even embarked on the journey of entrepreneurship, starting my own IT business, which I lovingly call Control-Alt-Fix. <laughs> Applying my skills to solve problems and improve lives is immensely fulfilling as a testament to the value of my time at WGU. 
While the challenges of the future ahead are significant, I've gained confidence in my abilities to overcome them and to thrive. I know that many of you in the audience have also overcome your own unique challenges. As we move forward into the uncharted territories of our future, let our ability to transform setbacks into stepping stones guide us. Remember this moment, this feeling. Let us embrace the reality that success is not solely built on victories, but rises from the ashes of failure, frustration, and catastrophe. So, graduates, loved ones, esteemed faculty, WG leaders, and especially those of you who stumbled in off the street, let this moment ignite a fire within you. May we all carry forward the spirit of resilience, the strength to weather any storm, and the courage to turn catastrophe into a catalyst for success. Our stories are still being written, and the best chapters are yet to come. Congratulations, and let's seize the future together. Thank you.